Hey guys, John W. Corn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, this week I wanted to talk about having cerebral palsy and addiction. And I often wondered if people that have a disability such as cerebral palsy are, are more prone to being addicted to drugs and alcohol. Readers of Someone Like Me know that. Uh, I've been sober for 15 years now. Just celebrated 15 years of sobriety on the 4th of July. And I tell that story in my book. And I thought it was important to put it down on paper and to share you know, what that life is like um, in the hopes that it would help people. And, and it has, and, I, and I'm really proud of that. And I'm proud to be sober. But, you know, having cerebral palsy you know, obviously it makes life very challenging in so many ways. Maybe there's issues that we deal with. I know I deal with pain um, and some frustrations and the fact that I can't do things as, as easily and, and as smoothly as my able-bodied friends. And, you know, that, that, that can lead to frustration. And uh, I used to turn to alcohol to, uh, I don't know, make me fit in in society a little bit, uh, maybe numb the pain that I was feeling from from the cerebral palsy. I, I really don't know. I think I drank because I like to drink, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it, it is a very serious issue in today's society, and I think that anybody that is dealing with cerebral palsy might might be more prone to uh, to becoming uh, I don't know an addict in, in some way, shape, or form, because it is frustrating and it's so easy to turn to drugs or alcohol uh, you know, to change that reality a little bit. And if you're listening to this and you're wondering if you're uh, an addict or an alcoholic, I really can't answer that question for you. Um, I can just, all I can do is just share my own experience and, you know, for me, it was, I always thought it was, I just drank too much. You know, I wasn't an alcoholic. I had a job and a career and everything and up until that time when I got in trouble and I hit bottom, as they say, and I realized that, you know, an alcoholic can be anyone in society, even a senior chief petty officer, which I was at the time. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, that person uh, pushing a shopping cart or sleeping under a bridge like I thought an alcoholic was. But anyways, I, j I just wanted to touch base on that. I think it's an important discussion to have. I don't really hear it talked about too much, but I would be interested to, to hear if, if you have these issues in your life what you've done to address them. I, for me, it's a question of acceptance. And then once you accept it, you move forward to try and get the help that you need for your help, for yourself. And, it, and if you do need help, please understand that it's okay to ask for help, you know, because people want to help you. And I think it's a sign of strength to say, hey, I've got this problem and I do need to help. There are people out there that care about you and, and want to see you do well. And uh, that's what sobriety gives me is the opportunity to live a life where I don't have to be chained to that bar stool like I was for so many years. So, you know, again, I read about it in my book and uh, the feedback that I've gotten from readers on, on that once chapter has is, is really been uh, gratifying. So I'm glad that I put it in there. Uh, anyways, that's what's on my mind. Hopefully you guys are doing well, having a great week. Um, love watching all the video blogs and everything that's going on, and I uh, you know, love connecting with you guys. So keep it up, and uh, let's do it again next week, all right? If you get a chance, check out my book, Someone Like Me. Check out my website, johnwquinn.com, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.